The New York Times has just published a report that reveals even more allegations of improper and dangerous behavior by the man President Donald Trump insists be confirmed to head the Veterans Administration. Rear Admiral Ronnie Jackson got intoxicated and wrecked a government vehicle, according to the summary drafted by the Democratic staff of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee. Dr. Jackson also provided a large supply of Percocet, a prescription opioid, to a White House military office staff member, throwing his own medical staff into a panic when the medical unit could not account for the missing drugs, the report indicates. A nurse on his staff said Dr. Jackson had written himself prescriptions, and when caught, he asked a physician assistant to provide the medication, the summary also says, according to the Times. Earlier Wednesday White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders told reporters that because drive. Jackson has worked with an arm's reach of three presidents, he has received more vetting than most nominees. This is a breaking news and developing story. Details may change. This story will be updated, and then CRM will likely publish follow-up stories on this news. Stay tuned and refresh for updates, www.thenewcivilrightsmovement.com slash.